Hello, geeks and gamers, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. In the last episode, we uh, cleared out a good chunk of this new little area, just kind of exploring. Um, you know, we, we did so pretty efficiently, I think. Um, and now we are going to uh, continue on to the hospital that another one of the WLF soldiers was supposed to be in now. We did get bum-rushed inside this place, um, and I'm still not sure if, I think, if I'm considering it to be my fault or um, if it was a scripted event. Either way, it scared the piss out of me. Um, was I in here? Or is this the other side of that other locked door? I think this is the other side of the door. Yeah. Nice. Um, but as I was getting onto a crafting bench, I was suddenly bum-rushed by four WLF deserters that we had read about in another note. Um, and we had to kill them. Um, I'm kind of thinking it might have been a scripted event, but I'm also kind of kicking myself for not further exploring before I was just like, hey, let's get on this workbench. Health screening, 10 4 13. 30th anniversary, 10 8 13. Evacuate, 10 24 13. That's sad. Ooh. What do we got? Star sign. Real name, Zhang Li. Zhang Li, maybe. Uh, bronze and brain, both 80. They are in the Society of Champions. Once a humble museum curator, Zhang Li was poring over Han Dynasty scrolls when he found himself transformed by the spirits of the great Chinese emperors. Now, depending on the hour of day, he takes on the elemental power of each sign from the Chinese zodiac. Terrakinesis, Pyrokinesis, Aquakinesis, Ferrokinesis, and Aborkinesis. Arbor, Abor, Arborkinesis. He also takes on both the positive and negative personality traits of each traits of each sign, which can be an advantage or disadvantage depending on the situation. Best hope you can catch him at a good time of day. That's actually pretty cool. Some of these concepts, some of these things are really cool. Uh, I don't, I don't have this. I don't, I don't even know where to get that. Like, I've seen nothing. Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, maybe not. Like, what are the odds that it's one of these numbers? Let's try, uh, his anniversary date. That one makes the most sense, I think. 10, 08, 13. Ten, oh eight, thirteen. No. Guess not. But he also said it was the thirtieth anniversary. So, what would be? Let's do some quick maths here. I'm probably doing this for no reason. Because it means he would have gotten married in 83. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, shit. Oh, God, I, I am smart. Good. Hell yeah, it is. Okay. 
Well, now we can leave after reading this note. Darling, I got everything packed, but Fetra's already starting to put people on buses, and I have no idea where you've disappeared to. If I'm if I'm gone before you get back, I stash a few of my things in the safe. Maybe an overabundance of caution, but Fedra's been confiscating things due to quarantine. All smells fishy to me. Combination is set to our wedding date. I mean, it's been 30 years, but I assume you know you remember when that was, right? So if I had read this, I would have figured it out anyway. <laughs> But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for figuring that out so quickly. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be locked. Yeah, that would have been too easy. It's fine. We can just go over. All right. Uh. Wow, okay. There's something around here that I can pull. Hmm. Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. At least not that I am detecting. Okay. So that needs to go out, but I don't know how to get this open. Oh, the chain. Duh. Uh, damn it. Hmm. I think this is going to do what I would like it to do. Okay, fine. No. Don't stay open. But neither will this, at least I wouldn't think. Um, hmm. Let's take a let's take a look around the area. Not much to see. What is that up there? Just, just some ammo. Okay. I like how I solve some puzzles super efficiently and and relatively easily, and then other puzzles just kick my ass. There's no way this thing's fitting through the goddamn door. No. Yeah, fuck you, door. Do I want more explosive or more regular? Go with more regular. The 
only other thing I can think is to try to position it in such a way that it's like really slow rolling down. And then like try to haul ass. I mean, not as smart as me solving the, uh... As me solving okay. the, uh... Safe combination. This actually took me a little bit. But it's alright, we got there in the end. Trying to be weary of like, you know, any uh, trip wires or anything. I mean, we are pretty close to this fucking place. There's the hospital. No, oh, we're not. Okay. Fuck. I thought I'd be closer. Nah, that's a that's a solid, probably mile if not two miles off. What would you add? I think this is it. Watch. Watch for big red sign. What else has she written lately? Okay, so not much. What do I do here? How do I... We just started. I should have said... No, 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 wait. We already did that. Okay. Jesse's, Jesse's here. This is good. He can help protect Dina. I felt good having him around to deal with the WLF. Maybe he can help us find these people more quickly. I don't want to hear anything about turning back. I still just... I don't trust him. I think he found us way too easily. <laughs> and then kind of omitted how he found us. Like Ellie even asked, well, no, she asked, what are you doing here? She didn't ask, how did you find me? So Ellie just didn't ask the correct, uh, the correct question. I feel like she should ask both. What are you doing here? And how the hell did you find me? Because we are just all over the place. And yet you found Ellie, but didn't find Dina? He's, he's just he's just feeling a little sus. Okay, um, this is probably not the proper route to do it, Ugh, but it's the route that I'm gonna. Okay, nothing got attracted. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here, so I'm gonna stand up. I mean, I could be completely fucking wrong and I'm being watched again, but, uh. I guess we'll, uh. blow up that bridge when we go across it. Okay, this is much more enclosed. Let's let's go into sneak mode. Oof, stinks in here. It stinks. So the first thing you do is take a big old whiff. Ellie just straight up <sniffs> Ah it Smells like what the rock is cooking.
Again, it is way too quiet. Oh. That's fresh. He hasn't been dead for very long. This game isn't supposed to be a horror game. Oh, that was just perfect timing. <laughs> that was uh, not even intentional, I'm sure. It's just good timing. Man, not good. Jesus Christ. Maybe this game is a horror game. I never... Like, playing through the first one, it never gave me horror yeah. vibes. This one is definitely giving me more horror vibes than the first one. I still wouldn't call it a horror game. I guess it's survival horror, but... It's not like, you know, Resident Evil survival horror. Oh, great. Hi. Stalkers. Fuck. Need to find a way out of here. The hell is a stalker? Is that an enemy type from the first game that I forgot about? Like, I remember the bloaters, and I remember them being annoying in the first game, too. And obviously clickers and uh how do I get outside? Clickers and then just like regular runners, but I don't remember stalkers. Okay, there's one over there. <laughs> Can they see the light? I thought infected didn't react to light. Sees certainly seem to reckon are to see me. <laughs> oh my god, fuck this. Especially wearing my headphones. Because I can just hear them. Uh, you know, one in my left, and then all of a sudden, one coming out of the right headphone. Like, fuck you. Like, I don't get scared very easily. But Jesus. It's super creepy. Fuck you. It looked like there was three of them, right? I've gotten two. Nope, there's more. I don't want to use my gun. 
but I feel like I might have to. That was good. That was good. Two two shots, two dead. Oh, but they're not completely gone. Let's see if I can find any more ammo. I don't know why there would be any ammo in a place like this, but at least more supplies to maybe craft some arrows. Seems like the exact place that have scissors and duct tape. Well, there's a nice shotgun that I'm full on ammo for. Still hear them. See? Duct tape. Who's stalking whom? It sounded fairly close by. I mean, that is the good thing about wearing headphones, is I can tell the direction in which the noises are coming from. I can specifically tell it's coming from my right, you know? Compared to playing without headphones, it would just be coming out of the TV speakers and there wouldn't be a very good way to necessarily differentiate directions. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck y'all. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anybody else want some? Still got some fucking buckshot for you. You know, I tried to do this the easy way. I'm gonna head back for that other shotgun ammo real quick. Oh. Just, just one shell. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad that I got that. Uh, let's craft a health kit and then use a health kit. And then craft it. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, don't use a lot of health kits. You know? I mean, I guess for the most part, uh, if I'm getting hit, I'm more than likely going to be dying. Okay, I don't hear anymore, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're all gone.
This episode might run slightly long because, you know, I'm not going to end an episode off in an unsafe area. Make sure there's ooh, ooh. Hell yeah. I don't know when that explosive arrow will come in handy, but I'm sure it will. I can craft more, obviously, but trying not to. I feel like there will come a time that the explosive arrows will be better used. Okay, it is seeming like we've made it through. I'm guessing I just pop this window and exit. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. No, okay, I, I came from in here, okay. So yes, in that case, I am going to go ahead and end today's episode here. If you did enjoy this spine-tingling horror-esque episode, then as always, be sure to do those things that we YouTubers ask you to do. And until next time, game on.